Here we're going to take a look at the difference between inner join versus outer join in SQL. So let's say if we want to join columns from table A and table B with no duplicates, right? So an inner join basically means that uh, A intersect with B, or in this case, the inner part of the diagram intersection. So you can see we have A, we have B, right? And the intersection, which is what we have in, inside, right? So we're basically intersect, like the rows that are common from both tables, and that's what we are querying from, for a inner join, right? And outer join means that A union B, so like the outer parts of a, you know, this, this entire diagram, right? We basically union those two tables together. Take a look at an example, right? We have two tables, a, table A and table B, we only have one column, right? So you can see this is the data that we have in table A. We only have one column called column A. And then for table B, we have a column called B, right? With only one column. So in this case, for inner join, basically we want rows that tables have in common, right? So you can see that the, the rows that these two tables that have in common basically is two and three, right? So you can see we have two, three, two, three from both tables that they have in common. So in this case, I basically select all from, you know, inner, from table A, right, inner join with B on A dot A and equal to B dot B, right? So those table, uh, we basically, you know, select rows that, you know, those two tables have in common, right? Now, outer join is different. Right, like I mentioned before, they're kind of like a union, those two tables union together. So for left outer join, basically what it means is that all the rows in A, right, plus common rows in B. So you can see here clearly uh, for table A, right, we only have three rows of data, which is one, two, three, right? And for table B, you know, initially you can see here we have three rows of data as well, we have two, three, four, right? So for left outer join, you can see that we basically select all the rows in table A and only the common rows in table B. So you can see that the common ones are two and three. And if it's not common, then we're just gonna set null. Okay, so you can see this is the query, right? Select all from left outer join, uh, you know, A left outer join B on A dot A is equal to B dot B. And so for the outer join, is basically the opposite. So we selecting com the all the common common rows in A plus all the rows in B. So you can see here we have a table, right? So for B table we have two, three, four, and then for A table we should have like one, two, three, right? And if we join them using the right outer joint, you can see that we're selecting all the rows in B and then only the common rows, which is two and three from A. Um, and then you can see that A doesn't have four, so we set it as null, right? And you can see that the query is like, we're selecting all from A, right outer join, B on A dot A is equal to B dot B, right? Um, for full outer join is um, kind of like uh, left outer join plus outer join together kind of thing. So we're basically selecting all the rows in A, all the rows in B, right? We're basically selecting all, right, from A, full outer join, B, on a dot a is equal to b dot b so you can see that we're selecting all the data right all the rows that we have in a right and all the rows that we have in b and if they if they're in common then we join them right if they're not in common for example one doesn't have in b table so we set as a null and same thing for uh you know here you can see b has four but a doesn't have four so we're just going to set as null right so we basically union those two tables together